Boxing for me is not about the money. It's not about the fame. It's not just a part-time thing. This is my life. This is for my family. This is for everything that I worked hard for, everything I sacrificed for. I know this is bigger than me. Philly is a beautiful city, but it also has a dark side to it. People don't tend to see the urban communities, the neighborhoods that's poverty stricken and drug infested. It's normal to see drug addicts, people living out of tents, shooting needles in their arms, cops, sirens all over. It's just an everyday lifestyle. You know, you walk out the house and you can see somebody ODing right on your sidewalk, but you just walk right by it almost, you know, keep going about your day because on the next corner, you may see the same thing. And it's just, it's just, it's numbing. So growing up, I'm one of seven boys. My mother, she was a single mother holding down the household. You know, she worked nights, she worked days. She would just break her back to give us anything and everything that we wanted. When you come up from hard times, you just do it. For years, I slept on the couch. So I did a lot of struggling, giving up a lot of stuff. I worried about them eating, sleeping, doing their work. But I had to work, so sometimes I was lost myself, just busy working, trying to make sure they were okay. In the midst of all of her working, me and my brothers ended up raising ourselves. Imagine seven boys stuck in one row home family, you know, fighting for food, fighting for space, your own peace of mind. To grow up in a house with no father figure, it's very easy to get caught up into the streets. When I was 12 years old, my oldest brother was shot. You would think as a kid, if your big brother or your family member was hurt critically, that you should feel something, that you should cry. But for me, at the time, I didn't feel anything. Growing up in this environment, in this neighborhood, it's just normal for people to get shot. It was normal for people to end up in a hospital, get stabbed, or get hurt. This is an everyday thing. Shortly after my brother was shot, I started going to the boxing gym. Maybe it was a calling from God, but I just knew that being in the streets was, was not the right decision, because if that could happen to someone so close to me, maybe it was time for me to try something different. I knew Tyler when, I, when he first started here, you know, but Tyler ran his own show. I mean, I mean, he's just a gritty kid, and it's all he wanted to do is box. That's it. He didn't, he was, he didn't care much about hitting bags or whatever. He just wanted to come in and spar, you know. Once I started going to the boxing gym, it was like, it was all me. It was my world. I can build. I can. I knew I could fight. It was coming natural, and the love that the people around me was giving me for boxing just boosted my confidence and it made me want to do something more with my life. So he, he, had a, he had a really good season there for a minute. I mean, I, I believe he won the, the Golden Gloves a few times and, and uh, he shined. I stepped in when he was about 18 and uh, I said, what do you want to do? He says, I want to turn pro. I said, well, let's do it. Going pro was a big deal for me. It felt like for the first time I was doing something that I was meant to do. That first one, yeah, it felt good. And then I got the second, third, and now I'm sitting at 6-0, and four knockouts. It feels like every day, I'm one step closer to where I want to be. I see that there's bigger things out here than just my neighborhood or just my city that I can elevate through this sport. When I think about my life, what my family and I had to fight through, surviving, just trying to make the best of our situation. Boxing is creating a path where I can provide a better life for my family. I, I tell him all the time, I said, listen, do you want to be champion of the world? You got to think that. You can make it out of the hood. You, you're not stuck in your environment. You don't get to choose where you grow up. You don't get to choose the circumstances that surround you.
But at the end of the day, I still believe you can make good out of any situation. I fight for my family. I fight for us to be free. Boxing is our way out. Boxing is our way to is our way to the top. Is our way to the top. Is our way to the top.